In the first one, he gave the told about the story of a sheikh, a righteous person, who was walking one time, and a lady from uh, her house one time she walked out with a big, a lot of dust, a lot of uh, stuff that came from her house, and it fell over this man. And instead of acting in anger, uh, why did you do this? Yada yada yada. He made sujood. Subhanallah. He made sujood. So everyone that was around was shocked. Why did you make sujood? You just got all this stuff poured on you. All this dirty stuff poured on you. And his, Subhanallah. The idea was that he forgave that lady right away. He forgave her for what she did. But just like how he forgave her for what she did, he wanted to be. He wants to be forgiven from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So the idea is that you remember Allah Subhanahu wa Taala whether you're being wrong. Uh, so that's how the first one went. And he talked about the second one. Uh, when someone else wrongs you, do you wrong them back? He gave the idea that put yourself in their shoes. Put yourself in the one who's wronging you. Put yourself in their shoes and see how it feels, how it would feel to wrong the other person. And it would, it would truly be a means of humbling yourself, subhanAllah. So I just, it just I, I figured it was a good video to show everyone, inshallah, two very good uh, views of how to attain good character, inshallah. And uh, inshallah, to conclude, just remember something. Uh, the Sufi said that one time, uh, believe it or not, he gave us a shout out. He gave, out, he gave a shout out to all the Muslims living in these times after his death. So one time he was in a gathering and he was crying. So he began to cry. And the Sahaba were looking at him, they were confused, so they why are you crying? So they asked him, Man, you keep Ya Rasulullah, so I said, Why are you crying, you Messenger of Allah? And the Sufi said, He replied, Ahbabi, Ahbabi. Oh, my loved ones, oh, my loved ones. And the Sahaba said, Ya Rasulullah, aren't we your loved ones? And they were like, and the Sufi said, replied, Yes, you are my loved ones, you are my companions. Ahbabi, al ladina yu'minuna bi walan yarawi. Be what I be what I get on My truth, my friends. So you are my companions. You sign this habit. You are my companions. But my friends are those who will believe in me without even having seen me. Subhanallah. So he's referring to us. He's referring to all of us living in these times. All of us who are living in these times after his death. Subhanallah. So he kept us on his mind. He thought about us. At the same time, we should think about him. We should think about what he did and how to be like him. Because, you know, subhanAllah, he would cry for us, he would cry for his ummah. And at the same time, we should be able to, to humble ourselves and to learn about him and to learn to love him, subhanAllah. Uh, so, inshallah, that's, that'll be it. Uh, for those who would like to stay around and watch the Hajj video, you can. But, jazakumullah khair, subhanAllah, alhamdulillah, and then, and then, and then, and then, So, I'm going to show this little clip. And some of the brothers they told me about it, mashallah. So it's a very good YouTube.com uh, slash Hajjlog, right? So this is this was uh, filmed today, mashallah. So these are different judges this year.
SubhanAllah, if you watch it on your computer, I think the quality is a lot better. Uh, you might be able to spot someone you know. <laughs> so, Jazakumullah khair. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all a nice trip to Hajj, inshaAllah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.